Hello, everybody. Thank you for enjoying the heat and being here today. Um, my name is Jessica Sanchez. I'm the executive director of the Robert Frost Foundation located at the Lawrence Public Library. It is our job to keep bringing the poetry of Robert Frost and like-minded poets to the community of Lawrence and to the Merrimack Valley and beyond. Today, I would like to read an excerpt from a poem that is not from Robert Frost, but is actually from Pedro Pietri. Um, the name of the poem is Puerto Rican Obituary, and I'm reading this poem because it has to do with labor rights. They worked. They were always on time. They were never late. They never spoke back when they were insulted. They worked. They never took days off that were not on the calendar. They never went on strike without permission. They worked 10 days a week and were only paid for five. They worked. They worked. They worked and they died. They died broke. They died owing. They died never knowing what the front entrance of the first national city bank looked like. Juan, Miguel, Milagros, Olga, Manuel, all died yesterday, today, and will die again tomorrow, passing the bill collectors on to the next to kin. All died waiting for the Garden of Eden to open again under new management. All died dreaming about America, waking them up in the middle of the night, screaming, Mira, Mira, your name is on the winning lottery ticket for $100,000. All died, hating the grocery stores that sold them make-believe steak and bulletproof rice and beans. All died waiting, dreaming, hating. Dead Puerto Ricans who never knew they were Puerto Ricans, who never took a coffee break from the Ten Commandments of kill, 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 the landlords of their cracked skulls and communicate with their Latino souls. Juan, Miguel, Milagros, Olga, Manuel, from the nervous breakdown streets where the mice live like millionaires and the people do not live at all, they were dead, they were never alive. Juan died waiting for his number to hit, Miguel died waiting for his welfare check to come and go and come again, Milagros died waiting for her ten children to grow up and work so she could quit working, Olga died waiting for a five dollar raise, Manuel died waiting for his supervisor to drop dead just so he could get a promotion. It is a long ride from Spanish Harlem to Long Island Cemetery where they were buried. First the train, and then the bus, and the cold cuts for lunch, and the flowers that will be stolen when visiting hours are over. It's very expensive. It is very expensive, but they understand, their parents understood, it's a long, non-profit ride from Spanish Harlem to Long Island Cemetery. I'm going to end the poem there because it is much longer, but I would like to take the moment to announce that we have, the Robert Frost Foundation has a series of poetry hoops that go from this month, September 11th, all the way through June, every second Tuesday of the month, right across the street at Cafe Estecar at 7 p.m. We have a featured poet, and then we have an open mic for anybody that wants to come down and express how they feel. We'll also have a community read in October, which uh, Rich will talk to you more about after we read a few more poems. Thank you. Hello. I know you're waiting for more music because it's poetry just it's just such a different thing than and the fantastic music you're listening to. I am going to read, I'm Helena Minton, part of the Robert Frost Foundation. I am going to read a poem by Robert Frost from a book called Mountain Interval, which was he published in 1916. It's called The Sound of Trees. I had never really been familiar with it, but he has a lot of poems about trees. And our former director, Mark Shore, who died a year and a half ago, which I loved writing about trees himself, so. The Sound of Trees. I wonder about the trees. Why do we wish to bear forever the noise of these, more than any other no noise, so close to our dwelling place? We suffer them by the day, till we lose all measure of pace and fixity in our joys, and acquire a listening ear. 
They are that talks of going but never gets away. It talks no less for knowing it as, I, as it grows wiser and older, but now it means to stay. My feet tug at the floor and my head sways to my shoulder. Sometimes when I watch trees sway from the window or the door, I shall set forth for somewhere. I shall make the reckless choice someday when they are in voice and tossing so as to scare the white clouds over them on. I shall have less to say, but I shall be gone. Thank you. Now Rich Gorham is going to help you. Good afternoon, I'm Rich Gorham from the Robert Ross Foundation in Lawrence High School, proud member of the American Federation of Teachers and supporter of the labor movement. It's a pleasure to be here. Repeating, the Robert Ross Foundation sponsors the Poetry Hoots second Tuesday of every month at Cafe Azteca and the Community Read celebrating poetry and the legacy of Robert Frost in the city of Lawrence this year, Friday, October 26th, hosted at the Lawrence Public Library. We hope to see everybody there. I'll take us out just with a reading of Robert Frost's The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that, the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I and took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. We are the Robert Frost Foundation. We'll see you soon for poetry. Let's hear it for our friends at the Robert Frost Foundation. Let's hear it for them. Okay, next up, guys, get ready for a show. This Lawrence native, Kilvani, is coming up, and she's been killing it on stages all over Boston, fashion shows, Berkeley School of Music. So guys, let's get a big, roaring welcome for Kilvani.
Giovanni, and this is my amazing band. We are going to move on with an original that I hope you love. Um, shout out to my creative squad, Miso Brown. We come together and we make magic. We have an amazing video for this song out. So please look it up. Make sure you come talk to me. Give me a hug. The song is called Don't You. And it's just a creative way that I dealt with my daddy issues. And grew past them. So I hope you can hear me.
response that I get. ¿A cuánta la gente le gusta la salsa? Chinga salsa, chinga salsa para ti. Pa mojar, pa mojar. Siempre tú me escribas de alguna manera Si te busco por aquí, me sales por allá Lo único que yo quiero, no me hagas sufrir más mujer Te vas a arrepentir Bien caro tendrás que pagar Todo mi sufrimiento Llorarás y llorarás Sin nadie que te consuele Así te darás de cuenta Que si te engañan duele Llorarás y llorarás sin nadie que te consuele Así te darás de cuenta que si te engañan duele To the stage, one of my very good friends, Evelyn Blush. We've been working on a song together. Yes, give it up, give it up. We've been working on a song together. We've been working on a lot together. Um, and we're excited to show you some of the magic that we've been making. So this song is called Compromise. It's still in the works, but I know you'll like it. We love you, K.O. I love you too. Listen, I have t-shirts for sale. Tengo camisa para vender. La mesa está aquí a mi izquierda, a tu derecha. The table is right here. Please show some love. T-shirts are ten dollars. I'm a full-time artist. I need your support. I need your help. You think that you know me. You say that I'm struggling. No, no. 
success stories that come out of Lawrence and how much we hustle and how hard we work um, and how much harder we have to work than other human beings for stupid reasons but we have to right that's our reality right. so I'm gonna stop talking because this song kind of speaks for itself this is right Will forever be a threat to you 
Listen to these words. Spent decades of energy trying to break us down. Oh, but we see you. It comes from a place of fear and lack of love. Everybody feels it. I know y'all feel it. Finding subliminal ways to compress the masses that we are less than you.
All right, this next song is a cover. I'm sure you've heard it, and I'm sure you love it as much as I do. And if you know it, please sing along. Please don't forget that I have merchandise for sale. I'm a full-time artist and I need your love and support. If you enjoyed your show today, please donate. They're just $10. I have clothes for venta for 10 pesos. If you like the show, please go to the table when you have time. Thank you. It's funny how money changes situation. This communication leads to complication. My emancipation don't fit your equation. I was on the humble, you are every station. So I won't play your KO like she 
Tu sabe, and it's some hip hop, so I'm gonna need y'all to jam with me.
Hustle and Soul and Dreamers and Doers Celebration. Celebration. So one more time, let's hear it for Dale Amazing.